no, 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 no. Do you like ancient Greece? Were you part of the Wattpad or Tumblr fanfic scene? Were you bullied in high school? Then allow me to present to you Lore Olympus, a webtoon inspired by the story of Hades and Persephone, which is guaranteed to remind you of long nights spent listening to Nightcore while making sad anime edits. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that last line got a bit too personal. Hi mate, Captain Mitch here. So I recently started reading Lore Olympus after seeing a video from Emma Artley redesigning the characters and Although I do not wholly agree with the storyline choices of Laura Olympus, one thing really struck me, which was the character design. It was just very interesting, you know, especially the colors. And I got inspired. So inspired, in fact, that I wanted to recreate Persephone in my style, but with a twist. You know, Laura Olympus's Persephone always struck me as a character who fits so nicely with an Art Nouveau, just think about it, like vibrant colors, flower motifs, softness, youthfulness, just just the perfect way to describe the goddess of spring. So I have to depict her like that. This is exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna combine Persephone from Laura Olympus, the Art Nouveau style, and my own artistic inspiration, of course, to make a piece of fan art. 13 year old me would be so proud. Okay, enough yapping, onto the art. Okay, thank you, introduction Midge. This is a voiceover Midge. Not that the other one wasn't a voiceover, but anyways. So let me tell you a bit about this piece. In terms of how I decided the composition and all, ever since the beginning, I knew that this would be a portrait because the paper size that I'm using is rather small and I still wanted to capture those swirly details that are very characteristic of Art Nouveau and I knew that if I was to do a full body on this scale or even like a half body it would be very difficult to cram in that amount of detail. In terms of reference for the pose and the face I used myself because I knew that I wanted a very particular pose. So what I noticed while looking at Art Nouveau portraits is that there is a lot of focus on very curved lines and I wanted to sort of replicate that through the neck movement and the hand movement and of course the crowning jewel would be Persephone's hair and I wanted to keep it long because I found it very beautiful in the webtoon series and I think it really goes well with how Art Nouveau artists usually portray hair. It's a very distinctive way in which they draw hair. It's sort of like this big clump and there are loads of flyaways, there's hair everywhere and I feel like that really encapsulates how I see Persephone from the webtoon series and then how I see spring. So, you know, it's a lot of things happening and there's a big clump of stuff going everywhere. But in the end, it looks very beautiful and it's very interesting to look at. In terms of Persephone's face, I know that in the webtoon, she's sort of depicted granted in a cartoony style she's depicted with very round features i chose to go for something a bit more angular and especially the nose because i wanted that beautiful greek nose that you see in ancient greek sculptures now for the background this is very much muha inspired and i try to go out of my comfort zone so you see me doing this framing circle that sort of swirls into the outskirts of the drawing as to represent sort of like flowers that are spreading everywhere that sort of you know make that transition from winter to spring a lot of these flowers are spring flowers i don't necessarily know their names but i just wanted to focus on having all of these swirly beautiful details again very much muha inspired so this is where I took my background inspiration from. It was really a challenge, honestly, because I usually don't do these backgrounds. I don't do a lot of detailed backgrounds. 
So you will see me sort of like canoodling back and forth, trying things, <laughs> removing them, putting them back in. I, I really, like this was a really long process. But with the sketch finally done, I was super happy with it. I was like, okay, what now? And I knew that I needed to go out of my comfort zone and whip out those gouache paints. The plan initially was to do a stained look with very diluted gouache and then go over it with colored pencils and then this happened. So I got a bit too confident in the paper and it started ripping up. And what I ended up doing was I started sanding the paper back. I don't know how I came up with that idea, but God bless. And then I picked up the colored pencils and I started filling in those framing details because I was very much aware that the paper couldn't take more wet media. And, you know, although it wasn't the way I planned it to go, I feel like the pencils gave me a lot more control, which was very useful when doing the swirlies. And I could get like those beautiful fine points. And this is how it turned out. By the way, I did go back with a white Posca marker to do those white details. And that's sort of like a callback to Persephone's outfit, as well as the theme of winter. So, you know, all of that white, the winter is melting away. Now, I know I just said that, oh no, I'm not gonna do water medium anymore, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna do one more stained look for Persephone because I, I couldn't let her like not have her iconic pink skin and I did that stain and then as per my original plan I went back with the colored pencils and let me tell you this was quite a doozy because I had to match a very very intense pink color by overlaying loads and loads of colored pencils and at one point the paper just got overloaded with the wax so you'll see that right in the end i went back with a layer of gouache to sort of smooth everything out and tie it together but i was really really happy with it especially on the hair i feel like this is the sort of look i wanted to go for i know that i said beforehand that the hair was sort of like the crowning jewel and I really like how the hair turned out, you know, not too detailed as to overpower the portrait, but detailed enough to give it that distinct Art Nouveau feel. And you'll see just little touches of blue here and there, which are a callback to pretty much Hades in the Webtoon series. It also adds a bit of contrast to her face, which was very much needed in a very monochrome palette of like pinks and magentas and reds. And then the final touches are just these little white details everywhere as to frame everything and go between spring and winter. Okay folks, so this is the final piece. Thank you very much for sticking with me throughout the video and I hope I will see you again soon. Bye bye!